Hi everyone. Today I'll talk about the current in bipolar transistor BJT and how you can derive them. Now so B J T. Now I'll start first with a simple model of a BJT. Now this must have looked familiar to you. Uh, I'll choose P plus and P BJT. And for it to work, we need to apply a voltage source to it. So, if you notice, if we apply bias in this way, we have here. This is a PN diode forward bias mode, and the other one is in reverse bias. Now, BHAT works in this way. Why? Let me show you why. <coughs> First, we push in, we push holes into here, so we inject holes. Now once holes are in check, it will go through the P plus layer there and the pair, so creating a creating current flows. From P plus to N, the process is diffusion. And from N to P, the process is stripped. This is because when P goes to N, N has very little concentration of P because P here is minority carrier. There will be a great gradient here. So P plus, the holes in P plus diffuses here. So there is a concentration of P here which is really high at this edge. Here is just P, so the P here will drift from here to here. So that's how it works. Now, so what we're interested in is to find. Now, I forgot. I forgot. This is the emitter. This is the base. And this is collector. Now, we're interested in the emitter current, the base current, and the collector current. So. I am gonna do gonna derive them for you. Now first from this simple model we know that the emitter current is equal to the whole current. And the same thing if the all the current go through safely, the collector current will also equal to the whole current. And base current is zero. This is the case referred to as full injection efficiency gamma, which is equal to whole current over the whole current plus the electron current. Now, life is not simple. When you connect a circuit like this, there will be some electron current. Let's go in like this. Now, what, what can happen to this electron current? It will leak a bit here so I'll call it I dash N and it will recombine with some of the hole here so it's a process for recombination well as you might have noticed, there can be some current that leak here. I dash 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 n, and at the same time, some s b. Sorry, so, because this is n, but minority is whole, and this is very small 
here some current will go back from a collector to the base normally we ignore this too because the drip here is very high and that will it will supersede all this current and these become very small and can be ignored so when you have got this leakage and this it, uh, base current to resupply the electron for recombination you can modify the base current expression to you add the recombination current which I call I dash dash n minus the leakage into the emitter so that you got expression for the base current no. for the emitter current that leakage because it's electron it will decrease the emitter current and for the holes notice that these things actually become smaller because some kind of current will combine at this in the base and therefore the collector current also decrease and by the magnitude of the recombination current here so there you go you have expression of collector current emitter current and the base current which will allow you to have a meaningful understanding of a bipolar transistor so hope this is useful